Hi, I'm Marlene Blessing. And I'm Leslie Rogowski. And we're both beat editors. And we're here today to talk about style. We both have such unique styles, and I think after working together for a while, we have a pretty clear idea of what each other's style is. We absolutely do, and we know that one of the things that our readers really love, Leslie, are the challenges, the bead challenges that we give them that consist of, you know, pick a material, one thing or a couple of things. And see what everybody does with it because exactly. they're so different. The things we do are so different. I know. And the thing is we really love to encourage people to find themselves, to find out how to express their unique style it's, in everything they make. It's true. And experimentation is what it's all about. And that's something we really hope to inspire people. Right. And one of the things I love about what we have together here today is the differences in the particular challenge that that we worked with. Right. Well, Which, first of all, let's yes. talk about your style. Okay. Because I think your style, okay. for me, it's, <laughs> it's an easy style to talk about because I love it. It's bold, it's colorful, it's, you know, you have high contrast colors much of the time, it's very geometric, it's fun, it's energetic. I'm very geometric, it's true, and mm -hmm. I'm very symmetrical. My husband calls me <laughs> Miss Symmetry. <laughs> and you, on the other hand, have this wonderful way of catching a harmony and a balance in a symmetry with these really select um, elements and components, which is something that is harder for me to do. So I really admire the pieces that you come in and the way you combine things like you did with the challenge that we have and the challenge elements that we worked with here, which are? Which are keys. Yes. We love keys. Yes. They're really popular today. and. The keys were the key to this project. We had three keys we started with, and they're by artists that we really love, Greg Ogden, Cynthia Thornton, and they're beautiful because they come in different metals. We I had mean, I love three that. different surfaces, which was very cool, and it was a little unusual for me to work with because keys are very narrative, and I tend to be very geometric, like you said, mm -hmm. and you actually don't. Uh, go towards the narrative either and yet tell me about your piece and how that came about because it's really just stunning and elegant. Well thank you and I, first I want to look at some inspirations you okay. know, before I got to the final piece. You know the, I do far more stringing projects and projects with you know some modest wire working in them than anything and um, so I had these two beautiful rings that are very similar you know, They're they great, have, the hammered texture mm -hmm. and a little bit of shimmer. They feel handmade. I they like do. things that really look handmade. And then these are the other colors I had in the clasp that I was going to work with. And again, this is from Cynthia and Greg. They're, um, you know, there's kind of a pewter finish on this, or it's almost gunmetally. There's a gold finish on this. And the piece I used, you know, as you can see, is on the side here of the final piece. And it's got a, it's called Shibuichi. So it's like 80% copper and 20% silver, and it has a rich, rich kind of antique finish. Really cool. And it really complements the colors of the seed beads that you chose. Well, and here's the other thing. The seed beads inspired me. I did, you know, I don't know why I decided this had to be a seed bead woven project, but it did. And mine did too, and that's a little more natural for me. But <laughs> I, I, I ended up choosing um, colors of seed beads that also reflected the three different color surfaces of the keys. Now for me, the, I mentioned the narrative yeah. part and working with the seed beads enabled me to create this sort of heraldic banner effect and yet it has this medieval look just like yours. It just feels really metallic. Very metallic. The whole thing. Um, I made a pin instead of a necklace um, and I chose to uh, give a little bit of mystery with the keys and the lock and, and that What's part of inside? the narrative. <laughs> and I use slightly larger size seed beads, which reminds me, yes. a lot of people are really afraid to use tiny little seed beads. I remember. And, <laughs> and I, I just want to scream, there's bigger seed beads. There's <laughs> Start bigger big. seed beads because you can get cubes and these are rounds and, and um, these are cylinders. This other bracelet that I bought uh, with, that I brought with me, you can see, is also very much my style. Very graphic. Geometric. These are all cubes, very graphic, and easy to sew. I know. A needle and thread goes so easily through these big holes. Uh, like I said, I just want to inspire people to know that they don't have to start small. They can start with the larger seed beads and create pieces actually faster because they're bigger beads. I know, and honestly, if you can sew a button on a shirt, 
That is so true. You can do seed bead work. It's true. You just have to be patient with yourself, don't you think? The journey <laughs> is a part of it as mm -hmm. well as the destination. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you have to, it's very process oriented. Right. And that's a part of it. It's meditative, it's calming. You kind of have to shut out the world and you can create these wonderful pieces of fabric out of beads to, to display elements like the keys, like the links, like the clasps, like the beautiful beads that you have in your necklace. And to mix metaphors, <laughs> seed beads, are, they're like paint. I mean, look at they these are. colors. They are, look at that palette. I know, it's just, it's rich and yummy. It's not what I would normally do. I'm all about green and blue, you know that. But somehow, you know, you have to take your cues from the pieces you're working with. That's true, and we certainly did and had a great time, and I'm just <laughs> thrilled to pieces to see these pieces I know. together. It was really fun.